Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a review video of a product that is um, really pretty recently new and um, I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to tell you guys all about my thoughts and everything in regards to this product. So yeah. So Bumble and Bumble recently came out with a new line for curly hair. I knew that I had to try them and um, I got the opportunity to do so. Sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. I've been sick, so I'm getting over being sick. So if I sound kind of nasally, that's why, but I'm on the mend. So first I'll tell you guys about um, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, they came out with a shampoo and it is sulfate free, which I was really excited about because um, I don't use sulfates in my hair. Um, and I wasn't, for whatever reason, expecting that their shampoo would be sulfate free, so when I saw that it was, I was really excited. It definitely does lather, so your hair feels um, like it's getting clean. A lot of sulfate free shampoos do not lather, um, and I don't really mind that so much if it doesn't lather, but um, I think I would use this more for like um, clarifying my hair. Even though it's sulfate free, it does. Um, still make your hair feel really clean and um, but not stripped of all moisture which I really liked. It did definitely feel like there were um, some kind of oils or moisturizing properties within the shampoo so that um, your hair doesn't feel totally stripped and devoid of all moisture because we do need moisture in our hair just we want to get rid of the dirt and the oil that we build up you know obviously but we do need some moisture for all hair types really, but especially curly hair which tends to be on the drier side. The other thing that's cool about it is um, this shampoo is super thick which I was kind of surprised about. I don't think I've ever used a shampoo with quite that much thickness, like when you squirt it out into your hand it's very thick feeling and it almost, this is going to sound weird, but it almost has the consistency of like glue, but it doesn't feel like that, that way on your hair so I, I feel bad saying that, but that's kind of like how it feels in your hand like that sort of thickness level but I actually like that it's thick because I feel like a little bit goes a long way like it feels really concentrated um, which is always good with a product especially with higher end products that are more expensive you want those to last longer and you want to feel like you're really getting your money's worth obviously the higher end products are of higher quality so you're getting your money's worth in that way but you also want to feel like it's gonna last you a while and you're not gonna have to keep repurchasing so I liked that about the shampoo is that it's so thick and I didn't need a lot for my hair so I feel like um, it's definitely worth the amount of money that you're gonna spend on it because a little bit goes a long way actually I felt the same way about the conditioner it was also really thick which I was surprised about um, it says that it's for all curl types and it says co-wash, rinse, rinse it out, leave it in, up to you. So you can use it um, as a co-wash, which is usually what I do when I'm washing my hair. I don't usually use like a traditional shampoo, but I co-wash. Um, or you can use it as a leave-in, whatever. And so actually because it said that, I was kind of thinking, oh, this is not going to be like a great conditioner for my hair. I'm so skeptical when it comes to conditioners because just over the course of my life I've had so many bad experiences with conditioners and it's just always been a perpetual struggle for me to find conditioners that actually work for my hair. So I'm always a little skeptical when going to use a new conditioner like this isn't going to really work or I'm going to have to use like loads and loads of it. Especially because the bottle is pretty small in my mind when compared to like the amount of conditioners that I purchase. Um, but I was so blown away with this conditioner, I can't even stress it enough. It was so thick and so moisturizing. I mean, I always use a lot of conditioner no matter what, like there's just no getting around that. So I did use a lot, but I actually didn't use that much compared to what I use from some other brands that I've tried. Even high-end brands of conditioner, I usually have to use so much. Even products that are specifically targeted for curly hair, it's like, they don't factor in my hair t type or whatever. But this was so amazing and I'm so shocked because it says for all curl types and so I was just thinking, well this is just gonna be like your standard run of the mill kind of somewhat conditioning but not really. But this was so amazing for my hair. Like I can't even, I can't even. This is probably 
I'm like I've only used it once so I, I hesitate to say this but I think this might be my new favorite conditioner like I always detangle my hair in the shower um I use a brush I don't finger detangle because ain't nobody got time for that but it was such a breeze to detangle my hair it was just oh it was so amazing like I can't even I can't even express how easy it was to detangle my hair how moisturized my hair felt um how moisturized my hair felt after I got out of the shower. It was just, it was just, it, it just. So I knew a thing or two about Bumble and Bumble's primers because I've used the primer that is part of their Invisible Oil line. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Need water. So the primer that's part of their Invisible Oil line is so amazing. I've used it before on my hair and it's one of those things that I keep thinking I need to repurchase but I just never have but I totally love that primer so much. Um, and this one I so I, I had like kind of high expectations for this one and it's a really good pr primer. Um, what it is it's like um, you can use it like as a detangler before you style your hair or you can use it like as a refresher um, for a second, third, fourth, whatever day hair and I think it does great for both it's definitely not filmy at all which I find is something that um, I notice with a lot of like hair refreshers or um, detanglers there's a lot of times this film that goes along with it and I don't like that at all but it's definitely just like um, not filmy but it does give your hair a little bit like more um, moisture but not loads of moisture and it's just something I don't know it's just like a good like just first step or whatever. Um, something I forgot to mention is um, the smell of all these products. They have like one smell for the whole line pretty much and it is so amazing. It's like not overpowering, really just like um, a clean scent. It definitely smells like what you feel like you'd, you'd smell like if you just left the salon. It's just really like, I don't know, it's just fresh and and I need to smell it to, to give you a a real description. Oh, I can't get the cap off. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Yeah, it just smells really clean and like almost kind of like soapy, but not in a bad way, just like fresh. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good. And it doesn't like linger on the hair or anything that I've noticed, um, but it just smells really good when you're putting it on. And that's like a pet peeve of mine, as you guys probably know if you watch my channel for a while. I hate when things like have this really strong scent and sometimes it makes me like not like the product because the scent is so off. The other thing they have in their line which um, I had heard a lot about from if you follow me on social media on Instagram, I posted a picture when I got sent these products and I got comments saying that you really liked, a lot of you really liked the um, styling cream and so I totally agree with you. I think the styling cream is my favorite of the styling products. Um, it has like, it's really uh, moisturizing and everything and it also has um, hold to it which I wasn't really expecting it to have any hold. Um, it's not like a really firm hold but it just does have some sort of hold for your curl and so I definitely appreciated that. Again it has that fabulous scent and um, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just so good. I love this styling cream so much. It's bae. So the other product in their styling line is, the, not styling line, that's not it, their curl line, but of the styling products that I'm talking about right now, is um, this anti-humidity gel oil. And it's really cool, like the consistency of it, I was expecting it to be really sticky, and it's not. It's more, I would say, on the oil end than the gel end, and it doesn't have loads of hold. I was surprised, just from my, I've only used it once, so I'm going to keep using it and, and keep um, experimenting with these products but I actually felt like the styling cream had more hold than the gel oil and I was expecting it to be the other way around but I guess that makes sense if you're considering that it has those oil properties in it and all that so I would say it's more of an oil than a gel but it is still a gel but not totally an oil I don't know you have to just use it to understand the consistency but it's kind of like it's really like this thin consistency and it gives so much shine to your hair so yeah I'm really stoked that I got to use these products and they were so great and the smell is so good I just love the smell it's so good um, so if you guys have any questions about these products feel free to comment below 
Um, if you have any thoughts, if you tried them, um, let me know what your thoughts are on the products. Um, I will also put links down below to where you can purchase and any additional information about the products that I inevitably forgot to include in this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. You're the best. Bye.